Hello folks, John Goldstein here, President of Leisure Coachworks. Gonna give you an update on where we are this week in the shop. This vehicle came in, it was new to the customer, so he wanted to figure out where we were on this so he could figure out what he could do. So we did a full PDI, we found some issues, and let's talk about what we did. So behind me, we upgraded the television. He wanted to go as big as you could, but because he had a few big issues, we had to modify and not do a flip up. We did a standard flat mount. We modified these two doors to where that all fits and it all looks like it was supposed to be that way. We added a Xantrax inverter, upgraded his battery systems, which we could show you that's on the outside. That'll power up his TVs, his microwave, and give him enough juice to, to live off the grid and make the things work that are a necessity at that time. One of the big issues he had is over here on the freshwater tank, there was a, an issue with the hose and it was causing it to leak. So this one was actually easily accessible to get that fixed. Got it all tested now. Everything's passing inspection. But he also had a leak on his gray water tank, which was coming from his shower and his sink. Another thing we had to do over here is the inverter panel that we added. So all of the items that are off of that inverter are powered with their own breakers. We've upgraded the bedroom TV. We've put it on a full motion bracket, giving him full access to viewing angle, however he needs to and whatever looks right. Just below, we have the Lifeline AGM batteries powering that inverter, giving you a maintenance-free battery with a really long life. You can see two new slide-out toppers helping you keep that debris from falling on your slide-out when your room is out and you're underneath a tree. Just to the left of me, you could see the platform that we made to house that new Xantrax inverter in an existing bay. Like every other RV service repair that we do when we're done, we shampoo the carpets, we wash the coach on the outside for free because you know we're gonna make a mess and we gotta clean up when we're done. So this one's ready to roll and on to the next one. Now this is back from the wrap shop. It's got the custom wrap on the outside outlining where this vehicle is going. We reinstalled the awning. We've sprayed the whole roof with a white Raptor coating which does better in the sun than a white vinyl from the wrap. Making sure that the rest of this coach is gonna match that roof in five years to come. We've painted all four of the wheels. We did some body work and painted this area down here. Well, that's a wrap on this vehicle. This bookmobile that's going out to a local city that we offer full service to all municipalities, specializing in full conversions and restorations. Last time you saw this, this was all broken, this was off. So we put it all back together. We've painted the base coat, we've painted the clear coat. Right now we're letting it cure so we can cut and polish to get that deep shine back to how it was originally. And then doing the ladder install and then this coach is gonna be back on the road. All right, just behind me, we have a completed project for another local city. Um, this one's gonna go out and talk about special events and, and pass out information for the local community. So we wrapped it with their logos. Uh, they wanted to put an awning on there so they can bring it out and shade everybody that's here. We have a 12 volt power awning. It's about 12 feet, it has the LED rope light. It's wrapped to match. And we actually, on this one, we mounted a roof rack so we're not making any new holes in the vehicle. And then we painted each bracket to match the wrap. We always want everything we do to look like it was designed to be that way and for everything to flow. So we took out the standard floor liner. We installed the coin pattern black vinyl flooring, built custom cabinets to house totes and chairs and everything they need to hit the road added a running board in the back for easy access inside and out, and we added a long running board on the passenger side just below the entry door. Well, I hope you found this video entertaining and enjoyable. 
and another representation of what goes on every week here at Leisure Coachworks. Thank you to everybody in the background, all the technicians, all the service riders, the film crew helping me produce these videos to show everybody out there a little bit more about us. Make sure you like, follow, and subscribe to see future updates on where we are on these and future projects to come. Or if you're in the neighborhood, we're in Fontana, California, right across the street from the California Speedway. Um, we also, um, let me start that over again. We'll get through this part. Over than five years old, over. Okay. Hey folks, John Goldstein here, Leisure Coach Works. Ugh, long pause there, try that again. I'm giving you maintenance free, long lasting bike. <laughs> Three. So we're gonna start the whole thing over. Okay. That way I remember. Okay. It's gonna last longer than the wrap. Wait, let me say that again. Like, follow, and scribe. Like, follow, and scribe. Try that one more time. Thank you.